Hello everyone. In this video, we will see five case studies related to hedging strategies using future, which will give more clear picture on the question is hedging profitable? So let's find it out. The first case study to explain hedging strategies using future is short hedge by wheat farmer and long hedge by bread mill owner. This is Mr. John. He is a wheat farmer. He is working day and night on his wheat field to produce bumper crop, a healthy and a good harvest. But at the same time, Mr. John is concerned for the market for his wheat when the harvesting time comes in. He is concerned about the price, at what price he would sell the wheat. What would be the market situation? at the time of wheat harvest and if the market is not assured, he is concerned with the storage cost. So all these questions are bothering Mr. John, the wheat farmer. Altogether, the main concern for Mr. John as a wheat farmer is a short market for his wheat. Now on the other hand, this is Mr. Bob. He is the owner of the bread mill. The concern for Mr. Bob is to have a short raw material that is wheat for the smooth production in his bread factory throughout the year. Here in this example we can see that both the wheat farmer Mr. John and the bread mill owner Mr. Bob have the same concern that is concern for the wheat. The, they both decide to move into a derivative market that is future contract for wheat. The objective of moving into a derivative market is to hedge the risk which is associated with the price and uncertainty of the market. So when an individual or a company chooses to use future market to hedge a risk the objective is usually to take causation that neutralizes the risk as far as possible. So the most common derivative market are forward, future and options. What are the five main features that make derivative market so special? Derivative market has five main features which is predefined when the contract are signed. Number one is the underlining asset in which the contract has to be signed. Number two is the quantity of buying and selling is predecided. The quality of the product is decided in the contract. The price at which the buying and selling is done is already decided when the contract are signed and then the expiry that is time of delivery is pre-decided at the time of signing of the contract. So these five things of the derivative market reduces the risk of both the buyer and the seller and help the players of the derivative market to hedge the risk and neutralizes the risk as far as possible. So now, in this example, the underlining asset is wheat. The farmer take a short hedge position and the bread mill owner take a long hedge position and both enter into a future contract for wheat. Both the wheat producer and the mill owner sign a contract in a derivative market called a future contract for wheat. The underlining asset is wheat. Here, Mr. John, the wheat farmer, took a short hedge position. A short hedge is a hedge that involves short position in future contract. A short hedge is appropriate when hedger already own an asset and expect to sell it at some time in future. Here, the farmer has decided to sell the wheat to the bread mill owner. The underlining asset is predefined, quality, quantity, price and the 
date of expiry or a delivery is predefined in the derivative contract when the contract is signed. It is also important to remember that short hedge can also be used when an asset is not owned right now but will be owned at some time in future. Whereas Mr. Bob, the bread mill owner, has taken a long hedge position. In this long hedge position, the person or a company knows that it will have to purchase a certain asset in the future and wants to lock in price now. So they both enter into a contract and hedge their position, minimize the risk associated with the uncertainty related to price and market. Both the farmer and the bread mill owner opt for hedging strategies using futures to minimize the risk. So they both sign the future contract of wheat at a specified price of 1000 rupees per quintal. The contract was signed on October 2022 for March 23 delivery. So the expiry or the delivery month is March 23. That means five months to go. In this five months, there can be two probabilities related to wheat production. Number one probability is there could be a crop failure. If there is a failure of crop, this would lead to reduction in the supply of wheat. As a result, the demand will be more than supply and this lead to rising price. So, the current market price or the spot price of wheat at the time of delivery, the March 23, is 1500 rupees per quintal. So, this rise in price due to crop failure is a win win situation for the bread mill owner. Why? Because the mill owner had already signed the wheat future contract and promised to buy the wheat at 1000 rupees per quintal. If he had not signed the deal, he has to purchase the wheat at 1500 rupees per quintal, that is 500 rupees more per quintal. But this situation is a loss for the wheat farmer. As the farmer had already signed the wheat future contract to sell the wheat at 1000 rupees per quintal, so he is in the loss. Because if he had not signed the future contract, he could have sell the wheat at the current market price of 1500 rupees per quintal on March 23, the delivery of the expiry period. Now, from this case, we can see that the profit or the win-win situation of the bread mill owner is a situation of loss for the wheat farmer. Now take the second situation. The second situation is the probability of bumper crop, which lead to a large increase in supply of wheat. The supply is more than demand and there is a fall in the price. So the spot price or the current market price of wheat on March 2023 is 500 rupees per quintal. So this fall in the price because of bumper crop is a win-win situation for wheat farmer. Why? Because the farmer has already signed the future contract of wheat to sell the wheat at 1000 rupees per quintal. If he had not signed the deal, he has to sell the wheat at 500 rupees per quintal. So this future contract is a win-win situation for farm, but it is a loss for the bread mill owner. Why? Because the mill owner, if he had not signed the future contract of wheat for 1000 rupees per quintal, he could have bought the wheat from the market at 500 rupees per quintal. The current market price for March 2023. So from this example, we can see that the gain of mill owner is the loss of farmer and the 
loss of mill owner is the gain of farm but this loss and gain is a short term situation the short term situation is very volatile with respect to price both the farmer and the mill owner are the long term players in the market they always want to avoid uncertainty with respect to price and market to avoid this uncertainty they both opt for hedging and the importance of hedging is to look at a big picture because there is no guarantee that outcome with hedging will be better than the outcome without hedging so hedging is perfectly logical if you see a big picture in the long run so from the case study we can see that hedging does not necessarily mean that investment won't lose value at all hedging can lead to both the best or a worse outcome as well it helps to lock in future price of both the long hedge and short hedge position which help in protecting the interest of the hedger from high volatility and uncertainty in the market so hedging protects an individual finance from being exposed to a risky situation but there is no guarantee that outcome with hedging will be better than outcome without hedging therefore hedging decisions is perfectly logical if you see a big picture in the long run if you have any question on this presentation please put your question in the comment section and like and subscribe my channel to get further notification thank you so much